How would you like to earn thousands of dollars with Blender? Well, today I'm going to show you how I make a living with Blender and take you on the journey of how I made a complete Blender animation for a real world client. I'll be sharing my entire work process, the apps and services I use, the mistakes I made, and how the finished job turned out in the end. Let's get started. I want to share this entire process with you, so I need a customer who will be happy to be included in the video. <gasps> a customer! After a bit of brainstorming, I've come up with render farms. So I've written an email to three different render farms, pitching them both an advert and a chance to feature in my YouTube video. Blender Grid have got back to me. They're interested and want to know my ideas for the advert. Okay, brainstorming. Why do we need a render farm? It's speed, quicker than using your own PC, and it also means your PC isn't tied up with rendering. It's powerful, you could render projects that your own PC isn't capable of. Quick and powerful, like a supercar. Like your render is a supercar whizzing through a city to the finish line. I pitch the idea to Blender Grid and they like it. They want to see a storyboard next. So I've just come out for a bike ride and I've had a brilliant idea. What about if we include in the advert a load of Blender Easter eggs? You know, things like the from Here's the secret about me. I'm not particularly good at drawing. So when I create a storyboard for a client, I use Shot Deck, which is a library of movie stills. So I think of a keyword for each shot, then search for an appropriate still to represent my idea. That way, I can build up a storyboard without needing to draw anything. So now the storyboard's been approved, I need to work on the look and feel of the animation. There are two main elements to the animation. The character who's struggling to render the animation on his computer, and the Blender Grid car that's whizzing around the city completing the rendering. I've started work on the character first. Using Character Creator simplifies the process enormously, as character animation is very involved. I first start with a cartoon male base character, then customise him to give him a different look, and then add the glasses in Blender. I use some models from iMesh and Blender Kit to help fill out the home office. And you'll also notice a few Blender Easter eggs in this room. Next came the car. Blender Kit is a fantastic resource for a wide range of cars, and I wanted something that was a bit custom and looked super fast. I found this great car model, which I downloaded into Blender, and then added the Blender Grid logos on the door, and painted the blue Blender Grid symbol on the bonnet to give it a real custom look. I rendered out these two images to get the client's sign off, and after a bit of tweaking on the car, it was time to start on the animation. Everyone tackles animation of a large project differently. You might want to build all the scenes first and then add lighting and camera work, but I like to work sequentially through the animation and build it in the order it will be viewed in. So the work begins. I've built the first few scenes and chosen some camera angles to represent how the character is feeling. Here I've used a Dutch angle and a Hitchcock style zoom to show the shock on the character's face when he finds out how long the render time is going to be. Funnily enough, this is how I feel when I look at my render times. I need a render farm for this job. I've never used a render farm before, so this was my first experience of trying out one. Blender Grid wanted me to render the project on their render farm, so instead of using 1080p as I would normally, I decided to render the whole project in 4K something that my own computer wouldn't handle. The process is pretty easy. You pack your Blender file, then upload. Actually, Blender Grid gave me a warning that a video file was still missing. So I watched their quick instructional video on how to fix it, and I zipped up the Blender file with the video and re-uploaded it. Once it's uploaded, you can actually still change some of the render settings, resolution and samples. And you can see the price changing as the settings change. 
I use Final Cut Pro on the Mac for editing my footage. I bring the frames in and convert them to a compound clip, sometimes trimming them to better fit the pacing of the advert and doing any image grading required. Adding sound really brings the video to life. Artlist.io is my choice for music and sound effects. I often get asked where my car sounds come from and have a look at this. All these sounds have been recorded from the same car but in different places, at the exhaust, at the engine and even inside the car. If you want to join Artlist I'll pop a link in the description below where you can get an additional 2 months free subscription. At this point I finished about 15 seconds of animation so it's time to send it back to the client and check that they're happy with the direction that I'm heading in. Good news, Blender Grid are happy and they've approved me to render it all in glorious 4K. Ok, it's time to make a decision. When I was storyboarding I was thinking about adding some sort of captions or words as a part of the animation to remind the viewer of the key points like fast renders, 100% success or your money back. But the more I think about it the more this seems a bit tasteless, too obvious and makes it seem a lot more like an advert. Wouldn't it just be more fun just to see a car driving fast around the city? I'm going to take a risk and not put any more messages in this animation. I hope I don't come to regret this decision later. This is the hardest part of the job for me. I've got everything I need and it's just a case of getting down to work, building each scene and animation. It just takes a lot of time, work and concentration and the render doesn't always go as planned. Look at this, I've just rendered this and dropped it in the timeline and I've got it far too wobbly. Look at the camera shake on that. Poor driver will be all shaken up. Give us a few moments. After weeks of hard work I finally finished the animation. I'm really pleased with it and it's off to the client for their approval. The only thing I'm worried about is the connection between driving a car and a render being rendered on a render farm. I'm just not sure it's obvious enough and now I'm wondering if I should have included captions within the video. Ok so it's mostly good news. Client loves it. They've suggested adding an end scene of the guy receiving his renders and also some sort of progress bar as the car drives. I love this idea as it provides the connection between the animation and the render farm. I can do this. I used Apple Motion to create the progress bar and used a variation of one of my earlier scenes to create the happy chap getting his final animation. And we're finished. Let's take a look at the final advert now. Price confirmed. Render checked. All systems go. I hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes look at how I work. Although Blender Grid haven't sponsored this video, they've been a huge support throughout this project and I encourage you to check out their offer of a free $20 credit to try out their render farm service. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you'd like to see more videos of this style. Now go and check out Blender Grid using the link in the description below and take your first steps on a render farm. See you on the next one.